welcome to Pokemon uh, Starters tier list. And this is going to be a very special episode. And I thought it will be fun to actually uh, do all the... And what are, uh, those are my... This is my personal list. So if, you're, if your favorite starters is down below, don't be offended. And I, I respect your favorites and stuff. I, your favorite starter. And I, re I totally respect that. But before we get started, let me actually, like, turn this music on. This is Anvil Town. So, I hope I don't get in trouble and stuff. So, okay. Okay, guys. Let's get started. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I feel a little icky, so I apologize. So, alright, then I'm gonna... Okay, Charmander. I'm gonna put him in the B rank, and... And I... I know this is... Okay, I I'm gonna explain this one. I do like Charizard. I know a lot of people find Charizard overrated. I don't think he's that overrated in my opinion. I mean, I do have respect for the Pokemon. I mean, I did use Charmander in the past and stuff, and I mean, Charizard's good, and... I mean, they did... They did buff him over the years, like... Like, give him, uh, give him the... Give it heavy-duty boots and stuff, and... I mean, I shouldn't talk competitive and stuff. I mean, uh, this is super personal stuff, so... And stuff, but... I mean, I do like Charizard. It does have good move pool when it comes to the special side, like Dragon Balls, Double Track, like Focus Blast, and yeah, it have some good flying moves like Hurricane and uh, Air Slash, and obviously Fire moves, obviously for Charizard. And another like Charmander as well. I mean, kind of sucks it loses Metal Claw. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because I mean, Charizard's more of a special attacker. But yeah, I mean, Charmander is a good starter, and now we'll put him in the B rank. The Squirtle is uh, my personal favorite starter. Uh, the three Kanto starters, and, and I actually do like Turtles a lot. I mean, it's not my favorite water starter ever, but it is my favorite in the Kanto starters. And, eh, I, I mean, it wasn't that great in the Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that Charizard wasn't great in this debut in Gen 1, so that's the thing I got mentioned, but... Yeah, I mean, I do like, I do like, uh, uh Squirtle. This is my favorite Kanto starter. I mean, I do like its... I mean, Blastoise is kind of dope with those Hydro Cannons and stuff, and... And, I mean, I do like the Megas as well, and I do... Uh, the Megas as well, and we'll talk about that soon. Let's put Bulbasaur in the A spot. <clears throat> I mean, okay, uh, let's talk about this. Uh, I mean, I I do like the buff that they give uh, Venusaur over the years. I mean, like, give it Earth Power in 8. And give it Chlorophyll for some teams and stuff, and obviously it has some... Yeah, it's like a support mon, I mean... It's good. It's good. In good moves, and I mean, I do like. I do like Bulbasaur in anime too. I mean, of course, I mean, he did. He never evolved it, whatever the reason, since he doesn't. He wants to stick as a Bulbasaur for now. But um, I mean, I do like him, and it's 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 easy to pick starter of all the three of them. I mean, I mean, I like I like Squirtle the best, but Bulbasaur is great. So there we go. And then Chikorita, I'm going to put him in the B rank, and I actually really like Chikorita a lot. I really like Chikorita a lot, but its move pool is not great. What you expect? I mean, I mean, it's not like super amazing. I mean, I mean, I yeah, like I said, I shouldn't talk much, but I mean, I don't never honestly, I never watch much of the Pokemon anime, so I don't know. No, uh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, um. I do like Chikorita a lot, and I mean, I like Meganium. I like their designs a lot. But I mean, I mean, I used one before, and you know, it was great, despite despite some flaws and stuff. I mean, I mean, it does get earthquake for steel and poison and fire coverage, and and it doesn't have any good coverage for bug and flying. I mean, it has ancient power, but that's about it. But I mean, I think it's a like a decent Pokemon. But I do like Chikorita as a Pokemon a lot, so yeah, it's a B rank. And, and then for Cynical, it'll be in the B rank. It, it was the first Johto starter I chose when I first played Pokemon uh, Soul Silver and stuff. I mean, I do like I do like Typhlosion a lot, and the reason why I picked Cynical is because I picked Chimchar, so I picked Cynical. But I mean, over the years, I mean, of course, they this design Typhlosion not quite good as uh, other starters, but. I do like that version a lot. I mean, I do like its Hisuian form as well in Legends Arceus, but... And there we go, I mean... And stuff. Alright, let's put Totodile in the A rank. I do... Let's see... 
Yeah, I mean, of course, I did use... And Toto is my favorite of uh, Jodo starters in. I do... Uh, okay, I, I mean, I... Uh, okay, I'm trying to think what I should talk about. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pretty slow talking, and and I apologize, but and I thought you could agree. Hold on, let me think what I do want to talk about. Yeah, I do like the the. It, it was a weird, it, since it was a Gen two Pokemon, it, it's kind of weird that it's a water type, and it, it doesn't get. I mean, it's it's a physical attacker, and all water moves are special. So I didn't. Uh, so. It did, it did got a little better in the earlier games and stuff, and it wasn't amazing, but it did got a little, buff, a little bit longer since, since it got sheer force as it's hidden in all, but in Gen 6 instead of Gen 5, but it's really good. I do like Frogator a lot, and it is my favorite of uh, the three Jogo stars, so there we go. Okay, let's go with Torchic. And I'm gonna actually put him Okay. Put him right there. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's going to be kind of a bit controversial, but I kind of find Blaziken overrated, and please don't get any hate. I am, I'm being honest with myself, and I, if you like, if you love Blaziken, I respect you. But I mean, okay, I mean, I mean, I personally like the other stars better and stuff. I mean, I actually like Torchic and Combusken, and Blaziken's all right. It is just kind of, they just, they kind of over did something in the later games. I mean, I mean, I have respect for Game Freak. Giving buffs and stuff, but giving it speed boost was actually kind of a mistake. I mean, I know they wanted to buff Blaziken and stuff, and I mean, yeah, I mean, Blaziken is easily predictable and stuff, and there's a couple of ways to check Blaziken, like Slowbro or both Dragon Flying Pokemon, like Dragonite and Salamence, but yeah, but yeah, Blaziken, I mean, they did, yeah, I just like the other starters more. I mean, I mean, I, I and I I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the Mega Evolutions, are, they, they, they kind of Mega Evo they overly designed the Mega Evolution for Blaziken, for the Mega. I mean, it's not bad or anything, it's just that it's kind of overwhelming in my opinion. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I, I like Torchic a lot. So, I'm, alright. Let's go to, uh, let's go to, uh, let's put him in the, put him right there. B rank. The B rank will be right there, but I mean, I actually do, I actually do like Trico a lot. I mean, not quite good as Bulbasaur, but yeah, I like Trico a lot. It is my favorite. Uh, well, not my, not my favorite. Um, my favorite is Mudkip, but it is my third favorite. Uh, Grasser, I think. I don't know, but I do like him in Mystery Dungeon. I like Robot in Mystery Dungeon a lot. Well, I'm not gonna spoil what happens and stuff, but I mean. I have a ton of respect for Trico. I did use him in Omega Ruby just recently, and he was still good. I mean, I do like the Christmas theme looking Mega Evolution for, uh, for Sceptile, so that's cool. And then for Mudkip, it is my favorite of the... I do, okay, I do like Frogator a bit better than Mudkip, so that I'm gonna put it right there for now, but it is my favorite of the... I mean, Gen 3 is my least favorite generation, but I mean, I do like some of the starters, so... It is my favorite of the Hoenn starters and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I mean, I do like I do like Mudkip. I mean, I mean, it's a good starter. It's, it's kind of the best Pokemon to use in in those games and stuff. And it has a really good typing with Water Ground. And yeah, I mean, I mean, you, you just have a easy time playing through the game. It's kind of like how Primarina is in Sun and Moon. And oh, we'll get to we'll get to that, but. Yeah, I mean it's it is really good in these games, and I'll, I mean I mean I mean they, like people are just like using Blaze again more than freaking Mutt, give Swampert, and Swampert is my favorite Gen three starter, and, and I mean I do like his Mega Evolution too. I mean yeah, Swift Swim is well, kind of unnecessary, but it is good. I mean it does I do like the weird arms that goes with, but I do like. All right, let's go to Turtwig, and I like Turtwig a lot. I'll put him in. The B rank. The B rank. For now. I do like uh, Turtwig a lot. I mean, I mean, I like turtles and stuff. And But there's a thing, guys. I mean, I, I do like... I do have a respect for a, a ground grass typing, but... 
I mean, that was a bad move. I mean, I mean, yeah, it it, it, it does it does counter fire and steel, but but I mean, most water Pokemon always always have an ice coverage. They are like literally every and it's four times sweet ice, so it's kind of a shame. But I mean, I like Torterra a lot, and it's really good. It's it's re it kind of slipped on over the years, but I mean, it's not good as it used to be, but. I like I like I like Tortwick, Grottle and Typho, um, uh, Torterra, and I named it Syrup. So there you go. All right, Chimchar. It's gonna be in the S rank due to childhood purposes. It was kind of nostalgic. I mean, it was the first starter I picked because I mean I picked Charmander first, and I thought I'd pick another. Yeah, I thought I thought I'll be picking every Fire starter until Gen Five come around, but we'll talk about that. But yeah, Infernape was the very first. Uh, Pokemon that I got to level 100 in Platinum, and he was so good, and I used him a lot and stuff. I mean, over the years, I mean, it, was, it was my favorite starter for a long time, but I'm starting to lead towards the water ones, and and you'll see why. But this is my favorite fire starter, only rivaling, only uh, rivaling uh, Score Bunny. But it's really, but I do like Chimchar a lot, so yeah. I mean, I do like his fighting coverage. I mean, yeah, and then. The, that's the reason why I said Blaziken is overrated because it just kind of kind of validates Infernape because 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 Speed Boost was stupidly overpowered. But yeah, there you go. And Piplup, I'm gonna put him in like this because I mean I do like I do I do I do love Pip, Piplup a lot. I mean especially because well Don's my favorite Poke Girl of all time and then and that's her Pokemon and that was her first Pokemon that revolted it from. Well, I don't I don't blame her. I do like Piplup in the games as well. I mean, I did use Piplup in Brilliant Diamond. Because I do need to take a break from Chimchar, but, I mean, I really like Piplup a lot. I do like him in uh, the Poke Park games as well, which is supposed to be Pikachu's best friend in these games. And I, I like that. I like that a lot. So, it's adorable. And I do like Empoleon. Um, kind of, eh, yeah, for Primplup, but Empoleon is pretty cool. And that's an A spot. Snivy is my favorite Gen 5 starter. I'll put Snivy in. Uh, I'll, I'll put Snivy right there. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't have a lot to say about Snivy. I mean, because that was the starter I chose. That was the first grass starter I chose because I always picked the water or fire, the, the water. So I want to. I mean, I did pick Bulbasaur in the past, but. And I mean, Snivy was the first grass starter that I actually like. Put time into into Gen Five games. I mean. Like I, I mean, I mean, I like to pick an Oshawott, but, but we'll get to that. But uh, okay, I'm trying to think what I should talk about. Uh, and like I said, I don't have anything to talk about. I mean, this move pool doesn't great. I mean, they did buff, they did buff it in Generation Six with Contrary because it has Leaf Storm. But yeah, I mean, if you want to read, if you want to see the Gen starters, uh, Gen Five stars back in, well, well besides uh, Oshawott because Oshawott has its Hisui form. But if you want, to... well, I, mean, I don't really care if, it, if they return or anything or not. But I do use Snivy a lot, both the original White and White Two. There, the, I never like choose other starters until later, and I really like Snivy a lot. Even though, even though it's not like amazing in the playthrough because the move pool is not that great, but I still, I just, I, I use it a lot and. All right, for Tepfik, I'm gonna put him in. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to decide where I should put Tepfik because it's uh, obviously it's starting to get hard. It's not my favorite fire starter, but all right, let's put him right there for now, and I'll probably decide later. I'll put him in the A spot, but I mean, I do like Tepfik a lot. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I mean, I like pegs in general, so I mean, this is my fi second favorite, but I mean. We'll talk about that. I mean, I do like Inbor a lot, even though it's a third fire starter to get a fighting type. But I mean, I mean, I do like Blaze. It does have a good move pool, and and it's kind of slipped on and stuff. So I hope we'll, I hope we'll see both Snivy and Tippic later in Scar and Violet if we if we can. I mean, I'm not, I don't I don't really I'm not desperate for them to come back, but I mean it'll be cool if they come back because Ashwa is obviously. Coming back because of his Hisui form stuff. Okay, let's talk about Oshawa. Let's put him in uh, A rank. I do like Ash Otters a lot, and I really like Samrod. 
it's pretty dope. I mean, it's not like amazing in comp competitive battling, but it's really, it's a really good design Pokemon, and it is kind of a best and in, uh, no, 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 uh, Pokemon Black and White 2, even though Imbor was originally the best. <laughs> yeah, I do like, I do like, um, Ashra a lot, so there you go. I also like him in, I do like him in, uh, Poke Park games. I like all of them in Poke Park, all the Gen 5 stars you play as in Poke Park 2. Alright, let's go with a chest pin. I'll put him in the... Let's see, I'll... Ah, oh, jeez, this is so hard. I'll put him in the, uh, B rank. For now. I mean, I like chest not a lot. I do like chest not a lot. And I like chest pin as well. Cool is okay, but I do like... I mean, I did use one a little bit in X playthrough, and it wasn't that... It wasn't amazing to use it. It wasn't amazing because it, because fighting type is fighting type doesn't work well in those games because there's like fairies and stuff, flying and stuff, four times with the flying. But it's a really good Pokemon. And then it's cool they're coming back to Scarlet Violet. Alright, let's go with Finnegan. I'll put him in I'll put her in a, a spot. Do you like Finnegan a lot? I mean of course um, of course same reason as uh Peplop. I mean of course uh, it's Serena's and stuff, but I, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like the Fox because it's weird design, but I like the Fox a lot. It's, it is a good typing of fire and sidekick and stuff, and that's a good typing because it gets screens and stuff. It gets like, well, it gets Sassy Pod now, which is good, and, and I'll be using a lot of uh, Finnegan, well, uh, 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 well, uh, uh, Del Fox over the years, and I mean, it's my second favorite, uh, a starter, and I know this is a basic pick, but I'll... It's kind of basic, and... Okay, I'll tell you a story about Froakie. I wasn't, like, super in love with Froakie and stuff. When it, when I... I mean, I decided to pick it. Because Generation 5 was a... Oh, well, Generation 6, actually. Was the first Pokemon game I actually didn't like. Because for someone who actually played Gen 5... A lot of Gen 4 and 6... No, 5... A lot of Gen 4 and 5. I played a lot of those games back then, but... When Gen 6... I mean, I do love the new Mega Evolutions, but the lack of post-game, that was in the past. I mean, Gen 6 has grew on me over the years, but... Yeah, I, I tried to like Froakie, and... This didn't really click with me at, at first, even though I got it to level 100. But over the years, I... I'm starting to grow attached to him. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's cool he's in Super Smash Brothers and stuff, and I do... I mean, Ash Greninja is cool, I say. I mean, I just, I do prefer regular Greninja, and... I mean, they, they are getting a nerf in Generation, uh... 9, well, it's Scarlet Violet. They got the Protean nerf, which is, well, it's not big of a deal, because it has u turns stuff, but yeah, that's what I say. And then for, uh, Rowlet... Okay. Gonna put him in the A spot. And I can see why. I do like the, I do like Owls a lot. They're probably, like, my favorite... Birds. Okay, let's put them actually right. Let's put them right there. Yeah, they're like my favorite birds and stuff. I do like the situi a lot. I like the archery and stuff. And I never used much of the situi, but I did use the Hisui. Did you say do, ah? It's the Hisui form in Legends Arceus, and he was pretty cool. It is my like probably my favorite grass starter. And I do, I do like, uh, I do like, I do like uh, Rowlet a lot. I, I. I find it designed to be weird at first, but I'm just, it's starting to grow on me. So I like Dark Trick as well, so... Liden... Okay, let's put him... Right in the seer. No, let's put him in the... Let's put him in the B rank. I mean, Cinderar did grow on me over the years and stuff, and, and I can tell you why. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to decide. I'm trying to think of what... Because I mean, I know I know a lot of people really like Linton because they, that's the most popular starter in Gen Seven. And I mean, I mean, I mean, it's like a decent typing. I mean, it's good in VGC. I mean, even though I never played VGC, I mean, I do see someone playing it with an intimidate and stuff and fake out stuff. But I mean, I do like it too. I mean, it's not my favorite of the three starters, but. And stuff, and I do like Incineroar in Super Smash Brothers as well. I mean, even though he, even though he has a bad recovery, I do like him in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, I did not expect him to come in Super, 
uh, uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate when it was revealed just like a couple of months before the official release of Ultimate, but there we go. Alright guys, this is gonna be a topic I'll talk a lot about. Okay, he's going in the S rank, and it's actually my, not only my favorite Pokemon, but my favorite starter. Favorite water starter? And I can tell you, let me tell you a story, guys. When, before Pokemon Sun and Moon was announced, I mean, they announced it like a couple of months before their official release. People are like, trashing it, like, a lot. And I had, this was the first starter that caught my eye the most. Like, I had, like, I had to defend it. I had to defend it, so I will use it. Yeah, don't sleep on Poplio. It's really good. It has a really good typing. I mean, I mentioned it. I probably don't mention it, but... But uh, Purina is so good in the playthrough, has a good fairy typing. Fairy is my favorite Pokemon type. It gets his tackle through the game like problem. I would probably do another playthrough, except with Purina at our side and sword. If I could just try to do a trade thing with an egg, but... But yeah, I mean, please, that's, this is the only Pokemon I only want back in Scarlet Violet. I mean, they not they reveal the Citroën coming back to a freaking, uh... Scarlet and Violet, and well, also a Linen as well, but... Yeah, like, I have to defend it. But over the years, I mean, I've seen people starting to like the Pokemon over the years, but... Yeah, that's my opinion. I mean, look at Tongue was my favorite Pokemon for all those years ago, but now, Poplio has taken the cake over there, and stuff. I have a plushie of Poplio. Great design. It's amazing. Poplio is so good. All right, let's go to Grookey, and... Oh, uh, jeez, there's gonna be so many A ranks! Okay. Okay, let's put him, uh... Let's put him right there. I do like him better than, uh... Oshawott, but... I mean, Grookey's a... I like Grookey a lot. I mean, I wasn't, like, fan of Grookey until I used him with, uh, freaking Grassy Glide, and... Well, Rillaboom is pretty good. I mean, they will lose Grassy Glide and start Violet, which is fine. I mean, I could just straight up wood hammer or drum beating the wee bot of the opponents, but yeah, I mean, I do like Rillaboom. I mean, it's stuff. I mean, not that much to say, but it is my second. And sorry, any Sobble fans out there. I'm gonna put him in the C rank. I never like got attached to it that much. I mean, I like uh, Sobble. I like Sobble, but I like all the stars in general, but. All of them are good. Even even those three that we'll talk about. Uh, why they put Scorbunny last? Actually, let's put Scorbunny next. But let's talk about Sobble. Yeah, it didn't really click with me that much. I find Italian's design to be too vanilla compared to Pokemon like Greninja. And yeah, I mean, I do like its I, I do like its like concept about sniping and stuff. I mean, I mean, I mean, its G its G Max form is pretty cool at least. Like a just giant tower with a, like a sniping stance and stuff, but, and stuff, yeah, I mean, I mean, I like Italian, and, yeah, I mean, I do like it, but it's just not, didn't really click with me that much, and I don't know if I'll use him, I mean, and stuff, but, there we go. Alright, then, first score bunny, I know, let's talk about the Gen 9 starters last, so let's talk about score bunny. I'm gonna put him in the S rank, was a starter that I... Uh, that was the, the that was the the last starter I actually picked. It's just before uh, cause that was since Char uh, that was my favorite starter since uh, Char uh Chimchar and Score Bunny. I actually like Score Bunny a lot. He was super good. I used him in the playthrough. I just like this hoodie design with uh, uh, the uh, Raboot. And yeah, I mean, I like that soccer stance. I'm not a biggest sports fan, but I do like its soccer stance in like a fire. Like a pyro ball, like a soccer way, and I like scissors a lot. And I, I mean, I mean, it's cool they brought him back already. In uh, Scarlet and Violet has a Terra raid battle. I mean, so that's cool and stuff. I do have him right now, so I mean, I will use him for some point. Just to get, taking a break from Violet as the soon as I'm recording this, but yeah, I really like Scarlet Bunny a lot. I do like rabbits in general too. So there you go. The very first rabbit starter ever. Alright, let's, let's talk about Quaxley. I'm gonna put him in the C rank for now. I'm not saying I don't dislike Quaxley. I mean, I do like ducks in general. 
I mean, I do like the dancing thing that they go with uh, in uh, Quaxel, the the dancing concept of it. I mean, I mean, it did got a little overly designed, and you know, I did not expect a duck Pokemon like this would become a peacock-like Pokemon when it evolves. Yeah, it's all about dancing and stuff. And it's not, it's probably my least starters, but I do like, I do like Quaxley, so there you go. I always, I always like the water starters the best, but it's not the case with, uh, uh, Quaxley, Sobble. Ah, dang it. Uh, sorry, uh, someone was actually calling. So don't worry about the phone. Alright then, uh, back to the topic. Let's go put Sprigatito, which is my favorite grass starter ever. I kind of thought it was a fox, but it was a cat, but there you go. I just... I like I like Florigato and uh, I like Miascarada a lot. I used it in the playthrough. It's super good. I mean, I love its design. It just I mean, it, it, it looks like a phantom thief a lot, like a magician, cat thing. And I do I mean I like cats. I like cats. I mean, and stuff. I mean, stuff. I mean, it is my favorite grass starter ever. So there you go. And and then for uh. Then for, uh, last but not least, uh, let's talk about, uh, uh, what was that? Ah, dang it, how can I forget his name? Let's put him in, uh, the, the, the croc one, uh, uh, Fui Coco, that's his name, dang it. Sorry, sorry I forget his name, but, yeah, I do like, okay, where should I rank him? I'll put him, put him right there for now. Yeah, I do like Fui Coco, I mean, I, I mean... Yeah, when it first revealed, I, I I have mixed feelings about it, but I mean, I did, I it wasn't my starter I picked. I do like a uh, skill of dirt, which is pretty dope. I mean, I like that. I mean, it looks intimidating and, and stuff. I do like skill of dirt a lot. Not quite. I don't like it as much as the other starters. I mean, having a ghost typing is not that unique, but it, it's good. I mean, I do like the dark typing of Masker. Well, it's not the best dark typing for Masker either, but it has protein to make up for it. And then, actually, it's good typing for fighting. Uh, fighting is actually good for a dancing Pokemon, but... So... Actually, let's just put him right there. Sorry, Inny, uh, I just don't... I mean... That's my opinion, but let's put him right there. Sorry, uh, any few Coco fans out there. But, yeah. Let's see. Any stars that need to be changed and stuff? So, guys. I guess it's about it for now. So, I mean, I... I hope I didn't offend you with the starters that you love. This is my personal opinion. So if, if your favorite is like if your favorite starter is Sobble or uh, Quax, uh, Quaxley, I respect you. I respect that. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. So until next time, take care.